Hey guys, it's Cal here from FX Savers and IRA Forums. Uh, this is my Anakin Attack of the Clones uh, hilt made by Trid Cloudwalker. Um, you may have seen that I already posted a video of this uh, saber before, but I've reposted it because I've since made uh, a quick upgrade to the sabers in actually making the accent LEDs functional. Um, uh, the Nano Biscotti V2 soundboard doesn't have support for accent LEDs, but uh, they've been wired with the main LED so they turn on as the saber turns on so it's quite a nice little feature there so for anyone new watching this um, this is one of my builds uh, there's a build log video on one of my other videos that you can see sort of what work needed to be put into this saber to make it functional like uh, the custom pommel that's been made the push cap pommel idea from Scott um, a machine uh, a heatsink module for this extra polishing uh, everything like that, making the uh, LEDs, one of the switches uh, right here, you can hear it there, and um, I also made a blade plug for it, which you can see just there, there's a blade plug right there, which I made for it recently, so um, that's really nice, um, sorry if there's a bit of glare on the camera, the, the hilt's quite shiny, um, so yeah, uh, it has a Nano Biscotti version 2 uh, uh, soundboard, um, it's a lowering soundboard of that Plector Labs offers, but the great thing about it is it's really tiny, so it fits in really small hilts. I mean, this hilt's pretty tiny. You can see sort of how tiny it is when you grab it. It's like, when you grab it, you can see how tiny it is. Um, this is holding the machined heat sink, and this is the blade holder. Um, it's This is a good saber for light dueling. You know, you can have do light dueling. Don't do heavy dueling because it just can't take it because of the blade depth of how the hollow core works that... Trid Cloudwalker mate, um, made, so you can know you can tap it on things and you can hear the flash on clash, um, because it has the power extender on there for white flash on clash. So it's two blue LEDs wired in parallel, and then the white LED die is for the flash. Um, it also has the recharge port in the pommel here. You can see that's what that's where the recharge port is. There's been some sound holes drilled in there. Um, the grips have been adhered down to a solid aluminium tube, which I welded onto the hollow core. So it's really nice and stable. All the electronics are nice and stable in there. It's had a custom 3D printed uh, chassis as well as a speaker holder for the um, electronics uh, designed by Force Relics that I had them design for me and printed. So everything there is really nice and solid and fits to the millimeter. So um, also as well, the switches have been custom made. Uh, Trid Cloudwalker ships them with just basic LEDs as you would expect an LED to be, but and you have to do a bit of work to get them done. So. Um, this is like push fit in there, it's really nice and tight, and uh, it's got great feedback. I think you might be able to hear the button, like, you can hear how responsive it is. It's just a momentary switch underneath there. So um, all you do is you pull the kill key out. That's the uh, first boot sound. And then when you press the ignition button, the ignition button sits lower than the other button, so you know where it is. And here we go. That's the saver there. You can see the accent LEDs working, which work really nicely. And you've got the the blade plug, which looks really good. And then, it's really, I'll try to get the flash. You can see that brighter shade come up there, obviously. And um, whenever you want to change fonts. Because uh, the Nano Biscotti has two sound fonts, you just hold the hold the button down, turn the saber off, hold it down again, and that's the other sound font. So A different sound right there, and blue again. So, so it's definitely a very nice saber. It is currently for sale at the moment. So if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Um, uh, I'll probably ship it with the blade plug. Whoever decides to get it, but I'm. Um, it's a very, very nice lightsaber. But it's pretty much one-to-one -one accurate with the MR replica. And um, yeah, guys, it's just it was a nice, fun build. I really enjoyed doing it. It's got an 18650, 3.7-volt battery. Um, great little runtime on there and fully rechargeable. So it's pretty good. And we've got the kill key here as well. So the kill key obviously needs to go back in. Cuts power off to the saber. And it's just a really nice, solid, gorgeous hilt. I really like it. And that's that, guys. Nice and shiny, nice and solid. And obviously, uh, Anakin Skywalker Saber from Episode 2. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see my next Saber videos. I'm working on the Duke Kilts next. And yeah, cheers, guys. Have a great day.